I am back and I am going to be doing my Christmas wish list for 2017. Now, when I mean wish list, these are the things that I would love to receive for Christmas. I by no means think I'm going to get all of them because obviously I'm giving like options and everything like that. So these are just general things that I would really like and obviously this also helps you guys out because you might want them as well and it is also kind of like a gift guide in a way. I've got my little winter's jumper on, I've got a red lip, I'm feeling it and yeah I'm just really excited for this video because these are some of my favourite Christmas videos to film and the fact that we're now in December and we're on like day three I think it is of Advent so exciting. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a huge thumbs up. Let's see if we can smash 10,000 likes just for Christmas videos because Christmas is amazing. And yeah, let's just get straight into it. In my household, we kind of do like, you get a main present and then you get like little things to go with it. So there's two options of what I would really like for a main present this year. I think I know which one I'm probably going to end up getting just because one of them is just so hard to get and it's just not really practical. One thing that I would really like is a new phone. I would love the iPhone X because my phone has started to do this thing where it will freeze on the home screen and then I have to hold down all the buttons to get it to restart and it started to do it like nearly once every day so it's just like basically breaking and breaking. I've nearly had it for a year and I feel like when they come out with a new iPhone that's when everybody else's phones start to break. It's like they flip a switch so everybody has to go and buy a new phone. I would love the iPhone X but obviously it's like over a thousand pounds to buy outright and that's just not practical at all. So obviously getting it on contract would be an option so I would love that if possible but that's yeah that's kind of like one of my main presents I would really like. The other main present that I really would like if I don't get that is a Gucci belt. Now I've wanted one of these for so long. I was going to get one for my birthday but then obviously my mum surprised me with the purse. I basically want the black one and it's just got the two G's on it and it's so beautiful. I think it's about £240 but I never wear belts and I really want to and that is one that I would literally wear with everything. But the only thing is none of my jeans have belt holes which means I would literally have to go to Topshop and buy about four new pairs of jeans which would cost me like £160 just so I can wear a belt. So again not as practical as I would like because my jeans just don't have belt hooks. Actually my River Island ones do but my Topshop ones don't. I am obsessed with the Gucci belt. I think it's so beautiful. There's loads of Instagram accounts that do like outfits with the Gucci belt and it's just like jeans with tucked in jumpers and like it's just amazing. Everything about it is amazing. Moving on to the other things that I would love to get for Christmas. There's actually quite a few little things, but again, I'm not expecting all of these. These are literally just as ideas. I love Tangle Teaser so much, but I just don't have one anymore. I don't know where it went, honestly. I literally just lost it. I somehow keep losing my hairbrushes, and I've lost, I think, three hairbrushes now, which is honestly ridiculous, because I'm like, where on earth are they going? But I keep losing them and I don't know what to do. I really love the rose gold compact tangle teaser. I love that and I love the ones with the handles as well. So literally any tangle teaser I would be absolutely over the moon with because my hair is really thick, it gets really knotty. So that would be perfect for my hair. The next thing I would love is something from Bath & Body Works. Bath & Body Works Christmas ranges are incredible. Literally don't even get me started on how amazing they are. The candles are next level and the Twisted Peppermint one is so fresh. The Hot Cocoa one is just so cosy. I just know all the names. Even though we don't have Bath & Body Works in the UK, I know the names. They are about like £20 off of the Bath & Body Shop, but oh my gosh. This is literally at Christmas time and autumn time. That's when I wish we had a Bath & Body Works. In the summer I can get through, but it's the cosy months that I really wish we had one. I would really love a Bath & Body Works candle or anything from Bath & Body Works. I used to be obsessed with the hand sanitizers. Was anybody else obsessed? Because I know I was. I'm really getting into my perfumes recently and I've got the Gucci Bloom up there, which my dad got me for my birthday. And I love it so much. So I really want to try the Moschino Fresh Couture Perfume. It's basically pink and it comes in a little like spray bottle but it's not it looks like a cleaning detergent bottle but then you take the lid off and it's a spray but it's so beautiful and so unique and again it's such a fresh scent you can get it in loads of different gift sets or you can get it on its own but obviously i love the bottle but i love the scent more like i said i'm just really getting into my perfumes i never used to like wearing perfume i just i love what well, i like the smell of them but i just always forgot to put them on i just put like spray on or something else but now i'm addicted to my perfume so that's definitely one for the wish list of course, what would a Christmas wish list be without Lush on it? I love Lush pieces. It's just Lush, basically. It's so good. The Snow Fairy scent is 
10 out of 10. Love that one. And I love the comforter, even though that's not a Christmas scent. I'm trying to think back to the other Christmas ones I've got this year. The eggnog scent that they do. Is it a bath bar? I can't think of it, but it's so good as well. Oh, and Candy Mountain. Candy Mountain is an absolute classic. So basically any Lush I would love. I'd love to get a gift set. The, oh my gosh, what's it called? Christmas Candy Box. I spoke about it in my Christmas gift guide. Love that one. I think it's about £20 and you get four products in it, but it's so beautiful. And they're literally the four products that I would buy separately if I was in Lush. Something that I really, really want, even though I have so many matte lip colours, so please don't kill me. I really want the Too Faced Limited Edition Gingerbread Liquid Lipstick. And it's basically... Well, when you think of gingerbread, you think of like brown, because obviously gingerbread is brown, and it's basically the perfect brown liquid lipstick. You guys know nude is my favourite colour to wear on my lips, but this one's more, it's genuinely brown. Like, normally the nudes have an undertone, but this one is so brown, it's so beautiful. It's £19, and the lid has gingerbread men on it, and I'm literally obsessed, it's so Christmassy, and obviously it's only going to be available at Christmas, because it's called gingerbread and has Christmas packaging. So I would love that for Christmas, and I'm not going to lie, that's like really hard on my Christmas list. Another thing which I've wanted for so long but I can never find it so I'm just like give it to my mum see if she can find it is the Morphe 35O palette. They used to sell it on Beauty Bay but they sell the OS which is the shimmers. I don't get along with shimmer eyeshadows that well. I get along with matte eyeshadows so I really want the 35O but it's basically a palette that is filled with oranges and browns and nude eyeshadows. It's amazing. I think you get 30 eyeshadows. Maybe you get even more than that. I think it might be 30 or 32 but they're about 20 pounds and they're the best palettes ever i love morphe eyeshadows i actually got them on my eyes today i'll link the tutorial down below but yeah i love morphe eyeshadows so the 35 o is definitely the next palette that i would love for 20 pounds for 32 eyeshadows that's less than a pound per eyeshadow can't do maths that quick but that's less than a pound Another thing I would love is from a brand called Tarte, and obviously I'm guessing you guys know Tarte, it's amazing, but they don't sell it in the UK, you have to ship it over, but I really want the Tarte, is it Tartiest Pro Contour Kit? You get three contour shades and three highlight shades, and it's just the most beautiful palette I've ever seen. Saf has it, and every time I see her use it, I'm like, oh my god, it's so beautiful. It's like this sleek black matte packaging and then it's got gold writing and then all the inside is like foil gold. The highlighters are so pigmented and some of the contour shades, it's amazing. You can get it in three different shades. I'd probably go for the light shade because as you guys can see, I'm literally like pale as a ghost 24-7. So definitely the light shade, but it's so beautiful. I'm pretty sure it's about £36, which for Tarte, considering it's a high-end brand, is really good. I would also love to try some of their Rainforest of the Sea skincare like range everything like that because it looks amazing again Saf has it she uses it and she loves it I trust Saf's opinion so I would really really like to try some of that as well another thing I would love are some new earphones because I use earphones 24 7 but I because I have an iPhone 7 obviously they go in the jack like this so I just use the ones that came with the phone but I need some that fit in my laptop and skinny dip do the most gorgeous headphones the ones that go over you can get earphones which go in straight in your ear but I love the ones that go over your head these are so beautiful and they're glittery and then they're just a thin gold band and you can get them obviously from skinny dip or you can get them from urban outfitters and they're so beautiful and i would absolutely love a pair of them i think i just said they're about 30 pounds although my brain some realized what my brain did not remember saying it so i'm going to say it again but they're about 30 pounds but i love skinny dip stuff my phone case is from skinny dip my laptop case is from skinny dip my notepads are from skinny dip it's just such an amazing brand the last thing that i would absolutely love this christmas is something that's actually discontinued i'm pretty sure or if it's not yet it is being discontinued and it's the huda beauty rose gold palette how gorgeous is this palette i mean the golden dusk i wouldn't necessarily get because I think it's very similar to colours I have now, but the rose gold palette looks so beautiful with the glitter shades and the matte shades, the red shade. Oh, I can't. I love it so much. I'm a sucker for eyeshadows. Like I said, I want the Morphe palette. I really love that palette. Other than, over there, the Morphe palette is £20 and the Huda Beauty one is about £60. So don't know if I'll be getting it, but I really, really like it. Plus, I love the packaging. I think it's some of the best eyeshadow packaging I've ever seen with the clear see-through front. I just think that's so sophisticated and I love it. 
but yes that is basically my christmas wish list for this year i really hope you guys enjoyed it just some items that i would really love to receive and obviously giving you guys ideas for things that you could buy people or ask for yourself but yeah other than that i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did remember to give it a huge thumbs up let's see if we can smash 12,000 likes i know you can do that there's 12,000 of you out there other than that i really hope you guys enjoy it and i will see you soon for a brand new video bye